This was a huge one. This guy. Oh, he's stuck on the fence. He's stuck on the fence. What's going on, Salmonella lovers? Today I got my new shirts. You can tell the detail right there. It's an iguana with a clock around it. Today I got this little ghetto rig right here. It's made entirely from scrap poles. As you guys can see, it's made out of one, two, three, four, five different rods right now. These are just scraps that I found around my house. Uh, might as well put them to good use, you know. Looks like we got two iguanas right now. Let's test out this rod and see how it works. All right, it's on. Oh, the death roll, death roll, death roll. Oh no, it, it popped the line. Oh, so I guess it wasn't secure on it. The noose did not, it did not break. It was fine. Let's try another one. We got it. Got it. Whew. Yeah, look at this beauty. So, didn't get much luck, but I was able to get one. There was about like three or four of them that got away or that were too scared. But yeah, this is a good size right now. Let's just keep going. Oh. Oh, I mean, you see less and less now, right? Yeah. Oh, you've been here before? Yeah. Yeah, I got an agreement with the property manager. Awesome. Yeah. This guy, he's not scared at all. He's coming back for more. Got it in. Just uh, rip it. Keep the tension on. And it won't be getting out. Just got to keep that tension. All right. We got it. Got it. It's on. Ooh. Oh, got it. Secured. All right, guys, here we have a maturing iguana. You can tell it's maturing by the color change. You know, normally they're green, but this one's turning orange. How you can also tell that this is a male is that it has these femora pores right here. And then normally by the tail, there's these two large bumps. That's the hemi penis, which is being hidden right now and concealed in the tail. Uh, right now, yeah, this guy is just about to mature and just about to start reproducing, but we got him right in time. Oh man, he got scared. Whoa! 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 Mm. Holy cow, guys, look at this. It's a dead iguana. Holy cow. That freaked me out. Whoa, check this out. See the jaws right there. Oh whoa. This is a good this was a huge one. Oh, wow, this carcass is a crazy. A bunch of vultures right there. Maybe there's a dead iguana by. Alright, there's that one right there. Let's see if we can get him. I hope this fence helps us out. Come on. Oh, he's gonna go over there. There's an opening right over there. Let's hope. All right. This guy. Oh, he's stuck on the fence. He's stuck on the fence. Ah, don't want to get scratched. Oh, all right. Got him. Got him. Whew. This fence helped out a lot. Ah, all right. He's hurting himself by jamming his head in there. His cheekbones are bleeding a little bit. Got him. Whew. All right, this guy. Whew, what a good size. All right. Let's put the noose around him just in case he tries to get out again. All right, guys, while catching this last one, I turn over and I can see another carcass right by this fence right here. So something out here has been killing them and 
all these vultures around they're just you know devouring them right after hmm. if you guys have any idea what's happening to these iguanas leave a comment down below Today is actually a really good day. We caught a couple of alphas. The scrap rod did its job, AKA I'll call him Frankenstein. Another shout out to Tina Wynn. Thanks for the dope shirts. Yeah. And again, if you guys know what happened to those iguanas or how long they've been there, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and look out for more videos.